Welcome to our lecture online. On the previous two videos, we solved the integral sine cube of x divided by the cosine cube of x. And as you can see here, we did end up with two different answers when we used two different methods to find the integral. At first, I was a little stumped. I looked at those two and I go, wow, they don't look like they're the same. And I can't make 1 half times the tangent square of x look like 1 half times 1 over the cosine square of x. It's just not the same. And so when I started plugging values in for x, I got different numbers. Hmm, I was little, literally stumped there for a while. And then my wife, who actually has a degree in applied mathematics, said, why don't you take the derivative of both and see if you get the same answer? Wow, it didn't dawn upon me. That was a good suggestion. So let's go ahead and try that suggestion to see what we end up with. We're going to take only the derivative of this part of the first answer and this part of the second answer, since so the rest of it is identical. So we're going to take the ddx of the first part of the answer, which is 1 half times the tangent square of x. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take the ddx, the derivative with respect to x, of 1 half times 1 over the cosine square of x and see if we do indeed get the same result. In other words, we should get something similar to what we started with, of course. We still need to add the natural log of cosine of x. We need to add the, the derivative of that as well to get back to what we started with. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So here we have 1 half times the tangent squared of x. So what we can do here is we can use the power rule first. So this becomes equal to 1 half times 2 times the tangent to the first power of x times the derivative of the tangent of x, and the derivative of the tangent of x is equal to the secant squared of x. So that's the secant squared of x. And then if we do the same over here, well, let, let's go ahead and just continue here. So this cancels out. The tangent of x is equal to the sine of x divided by the cosine of x, and the secant squared of x is, of course, 1 over the cosine square of x. So the result here, when we take the derivative of the first part of the answer from method 1, we end up with the sine of x divided by the cosine cube of x. All right, now let's see if we get the same thing when we take the derivative of that. And so this is equal to, I'm going to rewrite this. We're going to write this as the ddx of 1 half times the cosine to the negative 2 power of x. So we bring it to the numerator and make that into a negative exponent. Now again, we use the power rule. So this is equal to 1 half times the negative 2 times the cosine, subtract from the exponent, minus 3 of x, times the derivative of the cosine of x. And the derivative of the cosine is the negative sine. So times the negative sine of x. Then notice that this negative will cancel out with this negative. The 2 cancels out as well. So this becomes equal to the sine of x in the numerator divided by the cosine cube of x in the denominator. And then when you compare the two answers, sure enough, we end up with the exact same result. Now, of course, when we also take the derivative of the natural log of the cosine of x and we add that to both of these answers, then we'll get the original integral again. So it looks like we did the problem correctly in both cases using the two methods, but it does appear as if the answers are different and when you plug in values for x, you get different numbers. Hmm, one more thing we should do. Let's go ahead and plug in various values for x and then see what the numbers are and see how they relate to one another because I think I have another hunch that might help us figure out why we have different looking answers while it's actually the same result. So stay tuned for one more video to see what else we can do to show that the two answers are indeed correct and they do match one another. So let's stay tuned and let's do one more video on this.